Let's look at now at how we do debugging uh, with React. So if we're not trying to do debugging, we could just use this npm start here. Okay. But if we want to do debugging, so let's, for instance, let's set a breakpoint at handle change. So we just click in the left column. Sorry, way over here in this kind of gutter here. So I'm going to put an handle click and and let's say handle change. All right, so we've got a, we've got our application running. Now let's say we want to use a debugger. What do we do? Well, first thing we can do is we can set breakpoints. So that's just clicking in the left here. We can uh, control click and actually set conditions on these if we want. Um, so. But for the moment, I'll just leave those alone. So let's say I've got one in handle click, one in handle change, and one in actually my app function. There are two basic ways you can start the debugger. So one thing you can do is you can go on here in this configuration called debug application, and then click on the bug here, and that will start a new session. Okay. So if I look over here, I've got a new window. It tells me it's paused in the debugger, which is kind of handy, and here I am. And you can see the check mark shows me I'm on this line. So I can see uh, I have some local functions. That's not very interesting. Let's just go ahead and go from here. Okay. And it stopped again, so it's rendering for some reason twice. So we look over here. Here we go. Now let's go ahead and click on, I don't know, one of those divs. So we see now I'm in handle click. And in a handle click, we see the entire stack trace. I can go look at values of things like e.targetID and e.currentTargetID are already evaluated because it knows I'll be wanting those. And you can see it also puts it in here, what the value is. So it write as that sort of annotation in the code. And notice it's also showing E in here. Uh, I can look at E if I want and see all the values in here. So I can see, for instance, the target and the current event. Let's, uh, I can step over this, for example. And if I go look at the console, because it shows the console here, although I could go look in Chrome as well, I can see the handle click. And now I'm going to just continue. And we get another handle click, of course, for div one. Let's go over here and let's type something. So I clicked, I don't care about the click. Uh, I want to see about the change. In fact, let me turn off this breakpoint. So I type A, and what I want to look at in particular is back in the debugger, let's look at E. Okay, so what I want to show, so the native event is actually an input. Remember, I told you that there's a difference between on input and on change in the DOM model. And React is actually turning on input native events into on change uh, events for, for React. Okay. Uh, so you can see values. You can also change values. For instance, I can make this text one. Okay. And now if I step over and look in the console, you'll see it's Oh, whoops, I didn't do exactly what I wanted. Let's continue from here. I'm in handle change here. Let's again look. I'm going to go ahead and change the yeah, target ID to text one. Yeah, and there we see that the text once. So it actually shows that I did change that. Uh, I changed it just in the first case and it actually changed it and it's using the same event that's getting propagated up or bubbling up to the ancestors. So I showed one way you can debug an application. Let me show you a different way. So let me stop this debugging. We still have our original application running. So we've got that here. It's doing its thing. Let's just verify that. So we look in the console, and yes, I'm clicking and stuff is happening. Now, let's say I decide, hey, I want to actually debug the running application. Okay, so what you can do is bring up the NPM. Okay, 
So what you can do is bring up the Run tab here, and if we scroll back, we can see there's actually some information. It tells us where we can see this application. So if I'm running locally, it's localhost 3000. If I'm running here, it's my IP address 3000. And if I click on this, it'll in fact bring up another uh, window. Okay. However, what I can actually do is if I do a and this is a little crazy, but on the Mac, it's Command, Shift, and Click. It's going to actually start debugging this application. So it's going to create a debugging session. Okay, so I am, and what you, what will sometimes happen is it won't set a breakpoint on your initial calls unless you refresh. Okay, so I'm refreshing and now I get to stop here. So same, same kind of idea. So this command, shift, click is kind of handy. All it really is is just a shortcut for going here, choosing debug application, and then choosing the debug icon. And unfortunately, I have to try and remember those special keys. That is about it for debugging.